Welcome to the Chef's Kitchen Healthy Fine Dining Series. I'm your host, Nicole Gaffney, and we're here today with St. Luke's University Health Network, joining together doctors and chefs to create healthy new menu options to be featured at their restaurants. Joining me in the kitchen today is Chef Michael Adams of the historic Hotel Bethlehem and Dr. Gregory Carolyn. Welcome, both of you. Thank you. Thank you. Great to have you both here. Well, what are we making today? We are going to do a Arctic char dish, nice. and we're going to be preparing it with a roasted lemon vinaigrette, some plum tomatoes, and we're going to finish it with a uh, fennel gremolata. Sounds wonderful. Why don't we get started? All right, great. So we're going to start off with the vinaigrette. Okay. And what we're going to do here is um, we're just going to cut the ends of the lemon off. Such tiny little lemons. Less time on the tree, I guess, <laughs> huh? Uh, so um, we're going to, all we're going to do for the roasted lemon vinaigrette, we're going to take the, the lemons and uh, we're going to drizzle them with uh, a little bit of olive oil. Mm -hmm. And so what this is going to do is when you roast the lemons, we're also going to add, sorry, a little honey. Nice. Just a little bit. And we're going to add some fresh parsley. All right. A little bit. And what does roasting the lemons do? So what what will happen is essentially it's concentrating the flavor of the lemon because mm -hmm. you're evaporating all the water. Mm -hmm. So it's going to concentrate all those flavors. And it actually gets a ever so slight bitterness. Mm -hmm. So you have that citrus and then the little bitter. Then we're going to complement that with the sweet fennel. Nice. So it's just going to really balance out the dish nice. And a little fresh rosemary. How'd you come up with this idea? Um, stream or something. <laughs> uh, just um, it, it's it basically um, when you know ingredients like you know the fresh herbs yeah. and lemon with fish and it's a lighter dish and I like to do that in the spring and summer menus. Nice. So um, we uh, we just decided that um, you know doing a really nice light lemony um, vinaigrette would would complement the fish well. So Perfect. so we're just going to toss those a little bit and then we're going to pop those into a. Uh, 375 degree oven. You're doing cut side for down about, yep. on purpose. Yep. And okay. we're just gonna. It's gonna. What's gonna happen is the sugars are gonna lightly caramelized. It's uh, caramelized, and then it's going to um, concentrate the lemon flavor. Great. Now, Doc, do you like to cook at all at home? I like to eat. Um, yeah. <laughs> Good uh, answer. Yeah. I, I, I've dabbled a little bit. Okay. But my wife is the chef of the family. So. Nice. Well, you'll you'll learn a few things from here today. Yeah. I learned how to spell gremolata. <laughs> All right, so we're going to go over and we're going to start on the gremolata part of the dish. All right, what is a gremolata? So gremolata is just lemon, parsley, and olive oil. So we're just going to blanch it for a little bit okay. in salted boiling water just to soften it up a little bit. Mm -hmm. So for the, the fennel, we're going to remove these stems. And all we're going to do is take this really sharp mandolin and we're going to shave it. Very carefully. Well, you shave the fennel. Doc, tell us about what you do at the hospital. Uh, well, I'm an orthopedic surgeon mm -hmm. at St. Luke's and uh, I perform mostly uh, surgeries of the shoulder and knee okay. uh, with our practice. Uh, we have a pretty robust sports medicine department mm -hmm. that has expanded over the last few years, so I'm fortunate enough to be involved with that, uh, taking care of some of the local high schools and some of the local college uh, athletes. That's got to be on the funner side of medicine, I guess. Yeah, it keeps you it keeps you connected to exactly. things that you know that you, that you love to do, and right. you get to help people achieve their goals and maintain their goals despite injury. So. Awesome. So you pop that into boiling water, or more so yep. like lightly simmering water? Just lightly simmering, right. and it's going to come right out. So literally 45 seconds, and then we're just going to shock it in a little bit of ice water. Okay. You can already smell it. Do you like yeah, that smell? I do. That licorice -y. What does the shocking do, Chef? I've seen so you're just essentially you're stopping the cooking process. Okay. So um, by shocking, it's not going to turn you know mushy. Mm. You're just getting enough so that it softens up, and then the ice water will just stop the cooking process. Okay. Just to finish off the uh, gremolata, we're just going to take um, we're going to take the fennel and just dry it off a little bit. Okay. Because what you you know you don't want to dilute all the the flavor we're going to put on it and water is going to do that. So pat that dry. Mm -hmm. I love how and it turned translucent. Yeah, it looks really yeah. nice. Yeah. It smells fantastic. Yeah, it does. Yeah. So we're, fresh. We're going to tear the parsley leaves here. I'm going to add a little bit of virgin <coughs> olive oil. Some fine ground black pepper. So really simple. 
really some really refreshing. Yeah. Um, great time of year to prepare this. Um, and uh, it's just very light. Perfect. And so this we're gonna recipe, do that. this dish will be on the menu over at 1741 on the terrace. Absolutely. Great. So we're gonna do a little lemon zest and a little bit of lemon juice. Nice. No seeds. Hopefully. <laughs> All right. And that's it. Toss this a little bit. It's lovely. We are gonna leave that alone. We're just gonna leave that marinate in all of those flavors, the lemon and the olive oil. We'll be back with more from St. Luke's University Health Network. We're back with more from the Chef's Kitchen with St. Luke's University Health Network. So Doc, is it true that when it comes to orthopedics, surgery should really be the last resort? I think uh, in all fields of medicine, surgery should be the last sure. resort in orthopedics is, uh, especially. Uh, mm -hmm. We had a conversation earlier today about rotator cuff tears. Uh, okay. We see a lot of patients with rotator cuff tears. Mm -hmm. I would say about four out of every five do not need surgery. Really? Yeah, people are very well managed with hmm. non-operative care. There are certainly indications to perform surgery, but uh, right. we do take a, a pride in kind of making sure we, we evaluate each person individually mm -hmm. and then use those different indications for, for treatment. Um, and certainly when people hear things like, I have this, I have that, it's yeah. not always the same. And it's something that we do help our patients kind of understand and individualize their care. So very, very personalized to each patient. I think otherwise you're not really doing the right thing for people. Yeah, so that's exactly. what we try to do. Great. We're gonna start the Arctic char mm -hmm. and um, we're just gonna uh, season a little bit and we're gonna cook it skin side down first. Okay, we're why'd you choose um, Arctic char? So it's, it's just a very mild fish. Mm -hmm. So it, it kind of has characteristics of both salmon and trout. Nice. So I would describe it as something in between. Okay. It doesn't have the fat content that um, salmon has. Mm -hmm. It's a little bit flakier and a little more mild. So the best But of both a little worlds. bit stronger than trout. Right. So, um, but we're gonna season both sides of the fish because we eat both sides of the That's fish. That's for sure. <laughs> and uh, we're gonna do skin side. We're gonna leave the skin uh, on the fish. Okay. Where do you get your fish from? So um, we have a few different suppliers, but mm -hmm. we d we often use um, uh, Samuel and Sons. Of course, who doesn't? And and uh, um, if not there, I do get some of our fish um, directly from uh, Hawaii th flown mm -hmm. in, depending on the fish. Sure. And then um, we have a few other suppliers that we use, nice. but mainly Samuel's and Sons. All do right, so we're gonna start the fish. Okay. Do you eat a lot of fish in your house? Oh. Uh, we do, uh, uh, not frequently, but we mm -hmm. do. I used to do, uh, do a lot of fishing, actually, so I was curious. Oh, cool. is, it, is this a freshwater fish or a saltwater fish? So it's char? both. It's both, okay. Yep. So it's like Rash. a salmon. It's like salmon, yeah. yeah. Where is it procured, usually? So this comes from Iceland, and oh. it is organic, so they use all organic feed, um, and uh, they use more sustainable practices. A farm-raised type of fish? Correct. Mm -hmm. Little shallot? A little bit of shallot, mm -hmm. so as the fish cooks, you're going to see it's going to get a little bit opaque um, as it comes in. When we get halfway, we're going to flip the fish and then we're going to add a little bit of the herb combination again so those flavors just absorb right into the fish. Why skin side down, Jeff? I know. So Please. this is, you always sear the presentation side up first. Okay. So, and you want to get this nice, you know, a little bit crispy on it. Um, some people don't eat it, some people do. Okay. Um, I actually eat the skin. A lot of the, the good fats are in the skin. Very so, true. So we're gonna, you know, I, I tend to make it crispy, almost like a crispy bacon. Yeah. Okay. Get, and, and I would take the, the skin off and then I'd finish that in the pan so it's like crispy, really crispy. like a potato chip. Yum. And then eat that. That sounds terrible. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, fish potato chips. Well, are there scales in the fish that you have to scale? Or are sure. Of this? Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Um, okay, so while that's, we're gonna, we're gonna get the, um, little more olive oil in here. Okay. While you do that, tell me about right. the telehealth. So, uh, we're fortunate at St. Luke's, I've been a part of a program where we've actually offered some of my post-operative patients the ability to make their post-operative visits mm -hmm. electronically. Wow. And I think it's a really great use of existing technology. Definitely. Um, there are definitely, we've, we've piloted it and now it's working pretty well mm -hmm. uh, for certain individuals, especially the college athletes that we take care of. Sure. They come home, have their surgery, go back to college. Right. We see them before they leave, but then to have them come back to Bethlehem is, is challenging. Absolutely. So we're able to provide that kind of continuity of care. That's great. Uh, from, from afar. And it's been a very uh, 
very interesting uh, process and we're yeah. working through it. So hopefully we'll be able to expand it to other practices relatively soon. Oh, that's wonderful. Yeah. It's so convenient. It is. It's, you know, they, they have, you know, everyone FaceTimes with their sure. parents and their grandparents anyway. Right. So uh, why can't you FaceTime with your physician? Exactly. Uh, and uh, we're obviously working through it. There's some issues that, have, uh, <laughs> that uh, that's a challenge when you do new, new things. Technology. But yeah, and yeah. I think it's great with St. Luke's. They, they really do support that and try to allow us to, to be as cutting edge as we can so we can offer these op opportunities to, uh, to other uh, patients and families. Yeah, that's so. really great. Yeah. So what do we have crackling in here? Just so some fresh put some, some fresh thyme. Oh, you can smell that. Yeah, this is... Hits you right in the nose. All right, so a little bit of shallot. And then all we're going to do is I'm going to get that flavor. Oh, it's... Okay, so we're just going to take a little bit of that oil and we're going to lay it over the skin. Nice. And now at your office, mm -hmm. you actually have evening hours, and that also has to make it a lot easier for your patients. We do. It's nice. I mean, it's hard to fit, uh, as everyone knows, doctor's visits or any visit in during a normal work hours. Mm -hmm. So we've been kind of proactive about trying to expand our ability to see patients at a time right. that's convenient for them. Right. Um, and it has been very successful. Well, so. that just shows how much the network cares about people. The nice part about working at a place like St. Luke's, mm -hmm. it's a nonprofit, is here for the community and we try to do what we can to help support the community in the healthiest way as possible. Yeah, and you're doing a great job at it. Well, thank you. Yeah. Thank you. We'll be back with more from St. Luke's University Health Network. We now return to the Chef's Kitchen with St. Luke's University Health Network. So typically I would marinate the tomatoes and um, you know olive oil, some fresh basil, a little mm -hmm. salt and pepper. Leave them go for about an hour and then on the grill. Nice. And then just get a nice char on those tomatoes. And again, you know, cooking them, you know, on that high temperature, you're gonna, you know, take away the water and it's only gonna concentrate the, the flavor of the tomato. You like tomatoes? I do, I like salsa. <laughs> <laughs> tomatoes are probably my one of my favorite foods of all time. Are these local tomatoes or? Where um, are you? They are not yet. They're coming a real early. soon. A little bit okay. too early. Yeah. Um, my intention was to do some heirloom tomatoes, but they're just not. They're not ready yet. We we'll get them next time. Okay. Okay. So we're gonna just heat up the pan and a little salt and pepper, olive oil. And we're just gonna ever so slightly caramelize those tomatoes. So now the hospital was actually named as the highest performer in orthopedics by US World News Report. That's pretty amazing. Yeah, I think it's, uh, we, we have uh, been able to develop a very robust service line of every kind of specialty that you require. Mm -hmm. And we've been able to recruit some very talented young physicians to yeah. this area. And I think what ends up happening is we provide really good care, uh, which is what we want to do. We've been right. able to achieve that. It's nice to be recognized Absolutely. for something that you try to do. Absolutely. So. Well, it's definitely well deserved. So these are the roasted lemons. Very nice. So roasted lemon, wow. you see the liquid starting oh, to come yeah. out of them. They're ever so slightly brown, but they're real soft. Mm -hmm, right, time. so you're concentrating that flavor. Don't they smell great? They smell great. Yeah. Is that parchment paper? Is that what, it's what do you, just okay. yeah, parchment paper? And we're just gonna go like this, and we're gonna squeeze a little bit of the juice in here. And you can feel it, like the oil on the outside too. They must have released so yep. much of that. Yeah, and the, they're a little sweet from the from the honey. Oh right, the honey. And we're gonna take those seeds out. All right, so for the, this is very simple. Um, we're just gonna take a, a little bit of rice wine vinegar with mm -hmm. the lemon juice. Just to kind of play with a different type of acid. Yeah, and then we're gonna add a little bit of honey. <coughs> Salt and pepper as always. Salt and pepper. Great. And, and then just we're just going to whisk in a neutral oil and then we'll finish it with olive oil. Great. So, Doctor, uh, you specialize in shoulders. Why did you choose shoulders? 
Uh, I'm not sure. I, I did have a shoulder injury when I was okay. in high school, mm -hmm. um, and then I had that correct uh, fixed when I graduated college, and something that really was able to restore to me the ability to do things that I wanted to do. Right. And so it's sort of that's one of the drives to become a physician is is typically you have an experience that, yeah. that means something to you and you want to be able to give that back. Right. And it just happened to be that that was uh, uh, the only joint I ever hurt. <laughs> And then uh, in my training, I was uh, very fortunate to be uh, um, at the University of Pennsylvania. We had a very mm -hmm. um, well-developed shoulder program, and it's just something that really appealed to me. Great. It was uh, something still evolving. We sure. made significant improvements in the technology we have to help treat these uh, shoulder conditions. Mm -hmm. uh, with the advent of arthroscopy and these minimally invasive uh, joint replacements we are re performing today, and it's just great to be from like the ground up and see it kind of grow. So it's been it's been a really cool experience. Nice. So we just finished we up miss? the vinaigrette. We okay. added a little bit of shallot. All right. And uh, the olive oil and the neutral oil. And we're just gonna put a couple of thyme leaves in here. Mm -hmm. And very, very simple. Very light, really refreshing. Mm. They can really taste the, um, you taste the, the roasted lemon in here. There's just an ever so slight bitterness. Oh, thank you. Here, and oh, thank you, try it. Spoon. And obviously, when you let the the thyme Thanks. in there uh, a little bit longer, it's gonna that is, those flavors wow. will all come through. It's really good. Wow. Mm -hmm. But very simple. Um, a little very sweet few. Too. Yeah. 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 Sweetness. yeah. It's From a, the honey. It's fantastic. Yeah. yeah. Sure. The uh, roasted lemon adds like an extra note of complexity that you wouldn't get from just a regular yeah. fresh lemon. Absolutely. I like that a lot. Wow. All right. So Genius. I think our tomatoes yeah. are ready to go. <clears throat> So you see how they're oh, sure. a little yeah. light brown, lightly caramelized. Mm -hmm. And we're just gonna leave them go for about 30 more seconds on the okay. other side. Okay. We'll be back with more from St. Luke's University Health Network. We're back with more from the Chef's Kitchen with St. Luke's University Health Network. I can see how this is all coming together and I'm I'm liking what I see. Yeah, 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 it's a really nice, simple, mm -hmm. simple dish. All right. It just goes to show that healthy food doesn't have to be boring. You can make a really nice, light dish, and it's going to have so much interesting flavor. Absolutely. All right. And the Arctic char. How do you usually like to cook the fish? Is that going to be a little underdone it's in the center? It's going to be underdone. Okay. Yeah. Good. I mean, if you cook it the way you like it. If you like, like it, it, if you like yeah. it a little, if you like it cooked through, then cook it through. Sure. You know, that's very subjective. Mm -hmm. If you couldn't find fennel, would you recommend using something else in place of that? So sure. Um, if you wanted to take something like kohlrabi, okay. So that's in the cabbage family. If you want to do something like that, that would definitely work for this. Um, also, not that easy to find. <laughs> that's true, but local market. Like if you go true. to really local farmers markets, yeah. the smaller farmers seem to be the ones that grow the most. Definitely. So um, and it's a little bit different. but yeah. It's not like real complex. It's very neutral. Right. Um, and then so uh, you certainly could use something like that. Okay. So, cool. Yeah. yeah. And uh, we're just gonna finish it with the uh, vinaigrette. Mm. This is perfect summer food. Yeah, very light, yeah. very fresh. And like you said, especially if you did the whole thing on the grill, the tomatoes, and I guess you could even grill the fish. Absolutely. Yeah. You could probably even grill the lemons. You yeah, could. Because who you wants certainly to turn could. their oven on in August, you know? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Is that a oregano? Right, that's, yep. Nice. Yep. This is a great right. dish. Let's bring it over to the table and we'll taste. Right. This looks fantastic, so. Thank you. Both join me in tasting, and sure. I don't even think we need a knife, but. Oh no. Look at that. Get in there, Sounds don't be shy. Yeah. That looks fabulous. It definitely falls apart. Mmm. Wow. That vinaigrette, oh my god. And the fish is really buttery. Mm-hmm. 
Amazing. Because you cooked it like so low and slow. It's really, really, really nicely done. That is excellent. I didn't expect anything less from you, chef, but really nice. Perfectly cooked. A little mm -hmm. gremolata, actually. Mmm. What Kettle's do you think? still <laughs> crunchy. Mm-hmm. Nice. So what do we have going on at uh, Historic Hotel Bethlehem right now? Anything fun, exciting? Well, we have um, actually That's coming really up real good. soon, we have our, um, we have Music Fest coming up. So that's awesome. always a treat of business. Yeah. <laughs> so it's always crazy um, for that. And then before you know it, we're in the last quarter of the year and holidays holiday are great over there. Yeah, we're right in our wedding season now. Right. And it's so lots Pretty of Pretty much on. always busy season for you. Yeah. 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 Will we be well, serving so. this to the Music Fest patrons? <laughs> Uh, no, we do a completely different menu for Music Fest. So we have um, some uh, some more, um, you know, we'll do like lobster risotto cakes, mm. and we, we have a um, we do our uh, uh, main lobster bake that week, nice. and we do we do we actually do a whole bunch of things. We have a grill outside where we sell our lobster rolls, and we do burgers and fish tacos, and Sounds so good. we we do some uh, interesting things. Sounds delicious. Sounds great, yeah. Always great stuff happening over at the Historic Hotel Bethlehem. Mm -hmm. Great having both of you on the show today. Thank you so much to you and to, to St. Luke's. And of course, thank you, Michael, for being with us as always. Always a pleasure. Yeah. Thanks for having me. Of course. Thank you. Thanks. This is amazing. It's always a pleasure working on the Chef's Kitchen. The, the crew is great. The kitchen's always great to work in. It's always a lot of fun. Great time. Well, the Chef's Kitchen was a great experience. It was interesting to see the techniques that the chef uses to uh, provide us with these incredibly flavorful and fresh meals. It was a great experience kind of learning how, uh, how, how he's able to do so.